What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back in more diecast, and today I'm posting this on Christmas morning 2023, so Merry Christmas everyone, I hope Santa brought you some good Hot Wheels, Matchbox, and other diecast stuff, um, and that you get to spend a lot of time with friends and family today and eat a ton of good snacks, and if you're not, I hope you're just enjoying some YouTube and relaxing, so um, thank you for joining me, I have four five packs of 2024 Hot Wheels to open up. I'm really excited. I just found one of these the day before Christmas Eve on the 23rd. Um, actually, I found two of these, both of these on the 23rd while out doing some late minute, last minute Christmas shopping and late minute. Um, and I also have these two super rigs. One is new for 2023, the Tall Order Hauler. The other one, the Desert Force, is not new, but it is a new paint scheme and it looks awesome. Um, so I'm really pumped to open both of those because you guys know I like the Super Rigs line and to get into all of these new five packs because um, they've released five so far. I'm missing one. The other one I think is a glow or an x-ray one. Uh, but these look pretty cool. There's some really good paint jobs in here, so I'm excited to open those up. But first, I want to dig into the Super Rig. So let's go ahead and open the one that's been released before, the Desert Force. I picked this one up just because I thought this looked really cool, like an old Toyota like TRD paint scheme. Um, and since you can use any car with this, I'm like, you know what? That'd be cool to put a Toyota in with that. So here you can see the rest of them for the year. Um, the Scenic Route, which I've opened before. Baja Battalion, I think I've actually opened all of them. I don't know if I've opened the Steel Power before, um, but there is the Tall Order Hauler, the new one. So let's go ahead and bust this open. So, man, and speaking of Christmas, like, even as an adult, I love getting die casts or Christmas Hot Wheels, even if it's just one or two or a five pack. It's so much fun getting die casts for Christmas. It's like part of like being a kid your whole life, I feel like, is die cast. So they're good no matter what age you are. So here is the, I can't remember what this is called the ooh, hyper truck so it's i mean it's not a bad casting it looks um very futuristic and old like it looks like it was made back in the mid 2000s or early 2000s probably that style um but the truck itself looks pretty good like the design of it uh the tampos look great the chassis is metal and the body is plastic so if you're into that if you're not it's whatever these are more for like track or play um but this as a collector's model like that paint job looks so sick especially with the truck but let's go ahead and look it up i'll make sure i look get the right name the desert force so that is so cool. These have gone up in price a little bit. These are now $7.99 or $8.99, which is a little on the pricey side. But, like, there's a lot of metal on this. This whole truck, this whole cab right here is metal. The paint job looks good. It's got those white, like, Arctic tires. Um, because you can have a desert in the uh, snow. It doesn't have to be, or in the in the cold. It doesn't actually have to be, like, a dry sand desert. It can just be an area of the world that doesn't get a lot of precipitation. So, it kind of works. It still works. So, there you can see, like, on the cat or on the truck itself, like the trailer, it has, like, the, like, snow splashes from driving, which is kind of cool. Um, there it says Baja Long Travel, Hot Wheels Support, Hot Wheels Race Team. It's got a bunch of those, like, um, like Hot Wheels type logos. None of those are actually real brands. Speed Demons 19. So cool. And this thing is heavy too. There's a lot of metal in that beast. So I think you can um, pop this off. I'm not going to try. Usually there's just like a ball joint in there that you snap together. Um, let's see how this one works. So I think this should open up, correct? Let's see. Boom, just like that. And the back opens up. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's very dark in there. Let's see if this one actually fits in there. Some of the big rigs don't fit or the super rig cars yep and it does so that is really cool i like that it has the window so if you put a larger vehicle in there you can see it um overall not bad is it worth eight dollars i'll let you tell me it's really cool and this is so much metal this is plastic um this part is metal as you can see here um the plastic the chassis is plastic but there is a ton of metal in this cab it almost looks like a freight liner or an international or something like it should be licensed but it's not so and it rolls so well super cool I like that truck. Off to a good start. Not too bad. All right, the new for 2023 Tall Order Hauler. So this has been a long line of Hot Wheels car carriers or transporters, whatever you want to call them. They've made those for so long, all the way back to the steering rigs days in the 80s. And even before that, they had trucks that you could uh, put cars on. So Hot Wheels Car Transporters has a long, long history. So this is just another one of those cars in that history for the modern kid or collector. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Boom. So it has the Boulevard Bruiser with it. And this is a nice casting. It almost reminds me of the Ion Motors Thresher from the uh, Netflix Spy Racer Fast and Furious series. It's like a 
uh, fantasy muscle car that's mixed up of a bunch of muscle cars. I like it. It has a plastic body because it is a fantasy casting, but the bottom is metal and there's a lot of metal on it. That whole side exhaust looks good in metal. Really like this casting. Uh, I don't, I don't mind a plastic body when it's done well. And I think this is done pretty well. Same thing for this one. I thought that was done pretty well. The colors match too. I love those like blade wheels on it. It looks good. So give it a little roll again. looks awesome. So here is the truck. Man, this looks pretty good. It almost looks a little Tesla-like in the front, like that very futuristic, like um, electric, even though it's probably not electric because it has a um, exhaust pipes up there, but they're like flat and very futuristic looking there. So you can see like the aerodynamic. It's got the chrome blade wheels, Hot Wheels Racing Technologies, Elson Gundo. It's got some kind of number on there, and that might be a uh, latitude, longitude, line for the Hot Wheels offices is my guess. Um, S. Fisher, I believe, is the name of the Hot Wheels designer uh, that made this. So are those both the same? 106, 1,654? Yeah, it'll be interesting. I'll have to plug those in and overlay it on the video if that's a latitude longitude marker because I think it is. So here's the chassis. This is, oh, look at that. It's got some nice detail. That is plastic, but it's like a matte. Very interesting. So Let's look at the trailer Hot Wheels transportation systems. Origin HTC 90. So that's the same number right there as on the cab. Hot Wheels HTS Hot Wheels transport system. So this is nice. So you can put quite a few cars up here. What, two? And I like that they have the like um, little indentions. So when you move it back and forth, it doesn't roll, which is nice because that's like a real car transporter. So then it's got the little um, ramp that goes down. I don't think there are any... Um, keepers on the inside nope there's no like indentions on the inside so that can kind of you know roll back and forth on the inside but if you put two cars in there probably wouldn't be too bad because they wouldn't have a lot of room to roll i wish they would have put indentions on the inside i feel like that's something simple they could have done um but the coolest thing about this one let me see if i can get this to work ha -ha! check that out moving part so you have another ramp you have another two spots for that Bet you didn't see that coming. So that is really, really cool. This makes this one, to me, this is worth $8, definitely, because you can hold six cars on this beast. That's not easy to do besides like buying one of the bigger, more expensive transporters. So this is really, really cool. Like, look at that design. So it's cool that they put the indentions on the, on the top and the middle, but I still wish they would have put them on the bottom. Um, but this is very um, reminiscent of the, uh, what is that? I can't remember what's what's that called. What are the ones um, like the transporters, the, like the uh, like the tiered haulers? I have some, but I can't remember the name. So let's see how this goes back in. So move it back down like this. Okay. You see? Oh. So how does that go? So you oh you push them in like this. So you just push them in a little bit and then slide them down, and it should work. Let's try that again. So pull them up. Oh. Make sure I'm doing this right. Pull it up, snap it in, just like that. Roll it back so it's kind of stuck, and then push it forward and kind of push these little pegs in a little bit. And then they snap past the little guides, and there it is. So it's not too bad. It probably looked a little awkward on video, but that is super cool. Seriously. I love it. The moving part on a truck like this, very cool. And I did pop this off accidentally. So let me pop that back on. Easy peasy. Whoop. Look at that. Two tier dollar. Oh, snap. I didn't do it. I didn't pull it back right. There it goes. Look at that. That is so sick. Very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Very, very nice. So we have two winners so far. Um, I mean, the car hauler is so, so good. The fact that it has a moving part like that is very, very nice. So we'll go ahead and park this sucker over here. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, a little bit out of sight, and then we'll get to opening our five pack. So first off, we have the Batman five pack. I'm a big Batman fan. I usually buy all the Batman five packs, and I'm one of those people where you're like, who's buying all these same Batmobiles? I am. I'm, I'm one of the people that are buying them, especially the 66 Batmobile, because I love that casting. It's one of my favorites of all time. So we have the Arkham Asylum Batmobile, the Batcopter, the Boombox, High Roller, and Power Pistons. Not too bad. So we've gotten all these castings before. There's no new castings in these five packs. I don't know if they've ever, have they ever released a new casting in a five pack? A new, to, like new to Hot Wheels line in a five pack? I don't know. I want to say, 
yes, but I can't think of one offhand. If they have and you know, leave that in the comments because I'd be interested in hearing that or seeing which one it was. So usually, just like all five packs, they might have a few carryover cars to the main line, but most of these are cars you can only get in five packs. So like this Arkham Batmobile, this is like a paint scheme that probably you can only get in this particular five pack. So let me adjust the light so you can see that better. Um, headlight tampos, it's got the nice like aero disc wheels. It's got taillight tampos too. Not a bad casting. Um, it's not my favorite Batmobile, but I like this version because all like to me, all Batmobiles should be black or gray or a really dark like sinister style color. Um, but this one looks good. It's not too bad. So it's already off to a good start. And these roll pretty well. That was a horrible noise because they're like mainline cars. Um, the price of these have gone up as well. These are now $5.99, I believe. Um, but if you take into account that a normal Hot Wheel now is like $1.25 or $1.29 at most places, I mean, that's still about as cheap as buying five just regular mainline cars. And these are all exclusive, so... And it's fun to buy them. I like five packs. So here is the... Which one is this? This is the boom box, right? Yeah, boom box. This is a plastic body car. I like the window on that one. This is an older casting. Which one did like when did this come out? A long, long time ago, I feel like. 2015. I feel like this came out before 2015. Um, I don't know. It's just giving me that early 2000s vibe for some reason. Not a bad casting. It looks like a um it's a four-door SUV, but there's no separation right there in between the fourth door and like the back so it kind of looks like a wagon kind of has a cool look to it so it's like a fantasy car i like the tampos and stuff so there you can see it says gotham police very clearly like the tampos on the main lines look so good 24 gotham city nice i like this steel wheels too it adds to that like utilitarian police car look i like it all right next up i think this is i'm gonna read the bottom so i don't mess them up power piston so this is a harley quinn car which is i feel like they've started to incorporate more character cars or characters into these lines like that's a joker um right there which is cool because then it gives you like you know you have the batmobile gotham police the batcopter you have two bat vehicles like a town car and then two cars um that you can play like bad guys with so very cool i like that they do this and of course hers is like her like style is red and black so that matches like harley quinn style and look um, it's a pretty simple car. It's a metal chassis, a plastic body, but I like the white wheels. It matches and the front wheels are red. The back are blue. So going with that full Harley Quinn, like clown kind of just look all around. Cause I do, I actually like those wheels. It's not too bad. It'd be interesting. Like I almost thought this would glow in the dark wheels for a second, but I don't think they are. So not bad, not the best, not my favorite, but I like the paint job. So here we have the high roller correct? Yes, yes, yes. Um, in a Joker theme. And this looks pretty cool. I like this. I like the, what they've done to it. Look, it's a joke. It's all a joke. The Joker. So that's like the old Joker. That's like the Super Friends Joker logo um, almost. So it's kind of throwback, but they also have some like graphics on the background. It looks like it's like laughing, not emojis, but like laughing words like ha 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 on the back. It's really hard to see, but the flames look good. The white wheels look good. I like this casting. It looks great that you can see through it. Very cool. They used to, I thought you used to be able to pull this off, but maybe not. But it looks sick. I mean, that looks like a car Joker would have in like the cartoon or something. You know, it looks, I mean, look how sleek that looks. Love the paint scheme on that. Like that's one of my favorite ones from this whole five pack. It's very hard to grab the top here to like roll, but man, that looks cool. That does. So next up we have the Batcopter. This has been out for quite a while, too. Um, it used to have real wheels, I feel like. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been out for, what, over 10 years now. I swear it had wheels on it at one point. But um, this is a version. This is a variation. Even though they've released, like, seriously, like 20 of these, I don't think I've seen this colorway before. It's a navy metallic with, like, orange, almost strawberry or watermelon windows. Um interesting look it's not bad it fits in some of them are like purple and yellow or they've made just some kind of crazy uh, color schemes but this one is believable as a bat copter i could see this it doesn't look bad not terrible overall cool well that was the first one not too bad let me know in the comments um as we're going along which ones like you know take notes to yourself which ones are your favorite which ones um you think aren't worth the money or that you're like eh, i wouldn't pick that five pack up but that's not a bad one i wish um 
the Batmobile is different, but I know they ha they can't release every like you know, uh, um, what is it? The Burton Batmobile or the Bears Batmobile. It can't be all of them. So next up, we have the Nightburners, which this has been a very popular five pack just in general, the Nightburners line. Um, a lot of good cars have been released in here. So we have the GT500 Shelby, the 300ZX Nissan, the, I'm probably going to say this wrong, Renault Meg Megane, Megane. You can tell me how to correctly say that in the comments below. Um, the Copo Camaro, which looks sick in that blue color. And then I think that's the Gazalia, Gazalia R, which is a fantasy casting, but I love it. It looks so sick. And they kind of have a colorway that it looks Italian, like that green and red pop right there. So let's go ahead and bust this one open too. So I found all of these, um, well, actually I found two or three of them at Target. And then I found this one, I believe at a Walmart. So they're kind of, they kind of been everywhere. All right, let's take a look at these. It's always nice to get a lot of licensed vehicles because then it's even like, I know people love licensed cars, but here is that GT500 in a very good looking dark, like maroon candy appleish red. Just looks really good. Like those five spoke wheels. Um, this is, a, I guess is a pretty popular casting. I think any Mustang or Shelby product is usually pretty popular, especially when it's in a nice color like this. Not a ton of tampo detail, um, but it does have that nice GT500 and that Shelby like Cobra logo on the side. So not too bad. Very, very simple, but a clean casting, clean release. So one of my favorite from this pack, the 300ZX in orange. This looks great. The tampos look good. Look how clean that is. Man, that looks good. That Hot Wheels license plate. To me, this, this and the Camaro, I like both of the, like, I would have bought that. I basically bought them for bought the whole five pack for these got a very nice nissan logo on the front just a really clean good version of this car i don't need goofy tampos on everything or like racing decals on everything like just a nice car like this is so refreshing very good this is such a nice car really really like that one all right the renault this casting um has been out for a few years i like it um, this to me is like a Gran Turismo car one. It's like a car. I didn't know until it was in a video game because they're not sold in the United States. Um, they're not really raced in the United States. So this is like a new to me car, like back in the day when it was released, it kind of looks like a Miata, like it's smiling at you. Um, but this is a good casting. I mean, it's got a lot of detail. It's got like ground effects. When does it say it came out? 2010. Yeah. So it's been out for over 10 years and it still looks pretty fresh. Um, the new, I know the new designs are a little cleaner and they have a little bit better detail on some of them, but this overall has kept up pretty nicely with the times. I like that it has the plastic wing that it's not molded to the body because a lot of new Hot Wheels are doing metal wings that look really bulky, but I don't mind the plastic wings a lot of times. So uh, I like the tampos on this, the little checker flag. It's got the Renault Sport, the V6. Just a really good looking casting. I mean, it's a nice release. It's very eye-catching with the yellow. The white wheels look good on it. Very nice. So rolls well, too. Next up, the Copo Camaro. I really like this casting. Um, I believe they released it in just blue, like a little bit darker blue in the main line, um, but not with these silver stripes in that same type of Copo um, graphics. This is an awesome car. It's got the skinnies up front, as you can see, the classic five spokes. It's got the parachute out back. Uh, not a ton of detail. Like this one doesn't have the headlights or taillights or anything like that, but it just looks so clean. Like I love that look of this. It's, it's just a nice casting. Again, the, a race car um, that you can buy for the street that doesn't have goofy tampos all over it with the window net, with the skinnies, with the roll bar, with the parachute. Just really very nicely done. Like the colors of this one, if they would have put a green one in with this, or uh, I think that would have looked really, really good. But I won't complain about the black car. So here is the Gazelle R. Uh, this is a fantasy casting. It is a wild casting. It came out a few years ago. I like it. I like fantasy castings like this that look like kind of like supercars or IMSA style race cars that you can kind of get almost like that would um, compete along with the Renault in a like an unlimited series but it has look at that open like you can see the engine you can see the interior detail it's pretty cool like if you saw this driving around in real life this would be crazy sweet seriously it'll look awesome so does this one have a movable I think it does right uh does it move down some of these move down but yeah it should there it goes come on 
There it goes. So you can move this spoiler down. It does have that notch you can put under there, which I think that looks even cooler. Um, but then you can go like this and squish it up and use it on the track. So double duty on this one. Um, very, very light tampos. No, really nothing on this one besides those um, going down the side. But I like it. I like the wheels. I think they did good color choice, metal chassis, plastic body. But it looks good. I like it. It looks very aggressive. Like if they would have made this the Joker car, I'd be like, all right, Joker, uh, <laughs> Joker's bringing it, Batman. Very cool. All right. Let me know which one of those you like in the comments as well. Those are definitely like, oh, two of my favorite. Look good. All right, mud studs. These are awesome. So this five pack came out, I believe, for the first time last year. I'm trying to think if I have a pile of them over here. Um, no, so this this is the one I was thinking of. This is Hot Wheels Remote Adventures. I'll open this one too as like a final uh, 2023 here in a few days, but I want to get these 2024s out of the way. So mud studs. So we have the uh, Bone Crusher, right? Bone Shaker, Baja Bone Shaker, the Blade Raider, which is down here um chevrolet silverado off-road right here that's a all right sandblaster right here which is like supposed to be the raptor which says ford performance on it and what is that one called i can't remember terrain storm look at the graphic on that that is sick that looks good okay can't go wrong with a bunch of trucks mud trucks i'm really looking forward to seeing the chevy in this one i think that's that in the sandblaster like the raptor look really nearly nice okay all right the baja bone shaker look at the graphic that is hardcore that's like some uh what is it? i can't even remember mad max style paint job right there it's got the fake mud on it huge chrome graphics like look at that skull that is hardcore flat black paint it's got the plastic uh i think that's gray flat black inner insert it's got a brown chassis looks good i know this casting is not as hoarded as the regular bone shaker uh it seems like that one is very collectible where this one um is more of like a i think it goes even more into fantasy land but i like it it's not bad it's fun to play with um and it displays well too this will be a good one to like put on the uh car hauler like this one right here and like go for adventures on so all right which one is this the terrain storm i think this one has the suspension right it does. So this is one that has like the working suspension that bounces up and down, which is cool. Now, I always think like it, castings that do this are extra fun to roll around. A um, majorette cars growing up, majorette and yatming cars did that. Had that like suspension that you could do this to. I mean, red lines do it too. They have that like kind of coil suspension or leaf or whatever it is. Um, and I like it. I like playing with these. These roll extremely well. They're super fun to play with, and they don't bend. As long as you're not super mean to them, they still display well. So this has those off-road beadlock tires on it. A very fantasy-looking yellow glass. I'm not a huge fan of yellow glass on the cars. Uh, you can see the engine right there. It's got the Hot Wheels graphics, uh, the spare tire out back. Not bad. It's a fantasy casting that comes in a five-pack. It's pretty cool. It's got a good paint job, and I love like the bending back and forth of the suspension. So fun to play with, seriously. All right, next up, the probably the coolest one in here, the custom Chevy Silverado. Man, look at that beast. Awesome paint job. Really like that, the fake mud. It's got some of the Hot Wheels designers' names, the Chevy. It's got some, like, graphical logos on it, more mud up top, stripes. Love that. Like, the colors on this look great. Um, it has the matching, like, mud chassis and tires that, like, kind of make it all, like, it looks like it goes together. Where this, like, this is more, like, light sand. It doesn't look as matchy to the chassis. But this looks very, like, just like it's been in the mud. Like, it's pulled up to the gas station or the car wash to get like cleaned off and that's how it pulled up so um, the one thing i don't like about some of the truck and off-road castings is how big the axle keepers are right here like this really takes a lot of fun out of rolling this through mud or try even to try to do a diorama when there's like a huge rivet post right in the front so even though it has that on the front and the back like the ground clearance is basically at the bottom of the tire so it kind of makes off-roading pointless like here you get a little bit of suspension travel not much this one's probably the best one just because it has a little bit of room between the axle keeper and the tire this is basically i mean really not that much at all especially out back it's almost the same but the casting looks great i like it as a release and it will display super well you can roll around your couch or just like 
make a diorama of it because it looks so good. All right, next up, the sand... Is this Sandblaster? I keep forgetting it. What was the name of this? Yeah, Sandblaster. I was right. I was like, man, I'm tripping. I don't know. Um, looks good in yellow. A lot of metal. A lot of metal on this one. Um, it's a long casting. It's a pretty heavy casting. It's got a lot of plastic parts. I like that they did a tinted window instead of a um, like yellow or something like that. Looks more realistic. It's got that huge front push bar uh, with fog lights on it. That is a different color than the chassis. The chassis is like more like the Chevy. It's a matching brown to the wheels, which I really appreciate. It's got a nice HW Hot Wheels graphic with the uh, um, like Ford Performance line. It's got Ford Performance on it. The mud looks cool. I like this casting. This is a fun one to play with or display. But again, it runs into that same problem of these huge axle keepers. Like, no actual Baja truck or off-road truck would have those. Like, it's just too much. And I understand that's probably why they do that, so the axles don't bend super easy. Um, but just design itself, it's not the best. It looks great, but it's not, in theory, if you're going to, like, off-road these. It's not, it's not going to do much for you. So, here we have... The Blade Raider. I like this casting. Um, I've bought it a few times. And look at that paint job. That Hot Wheels 6. That looks so cool. It really does. Like that is an awesome paint job. I didn't even see that in the package. Really like that. Because it looks like it's like shredding through the paint. But it's Hot Wheels colors. Very cool. And this is like a. I almost think it's purple. But it's a very. Very like violet blue color. Uh, it has the gold five spoke wheels with the mud, like the deep mud color, uh, a dark gray or brown chassis. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks a little of both. Um, but this is sick. I really, really like that paint job. Very nicely done. Like that just looks fast. It almost looks like a remote control car or something. Very cool. I, lo I love that paint job. Man, that's so cool. Very nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and put these over here. Boop. And then we will open the last one. This one is all fantasy castings, Hot Wheel City. So if you've been watching any of my videos or collect any play sets through Mattel, you'll know that Matchbox does the more realistic action drivers, which I love. Have every one of them. I've opened them. Link the playlist below. Um, but Hot Wheels has gone super fantasy, like fantastic. So as you can see here, like this is like their fire station. It looks just so wild. Um, I'm not sure why they've like done this I mean, I mean these are for kids but as collectors like we also enjoy play sets and even kids are like like i don't need a crab play set i want the play set to do something like actually be workable so a lot of these aren't as fun as i think they should be um but they still are cool they're very colorful they have great detail in that aspect i just wish they were more realistic but that's why you get all fantasy castings to mix in to go with those play sets so they have a police station i think they have a taco stand um they have the reptile like they have a snake one or they did a few years ago um last year or something like that so these kind of fit in with that and the paint schemes look so good like that shark mouth one awesome so let's go ahead and bust this last one open. Thank you for sticking with me. If you've made it this far, hit that subscribe below. Um, it helps me get my videos to more people and helps me afford new Hot Wheels all the time. That really does help. So, oh my gosh, this one's opening so terribly. There it goes. Okay. All right. So I will leave this. Oh my goodness. I'm like wrecking stuff over here. Okay. So I will go through this. And then let's see. Okay. So we have the rescue duty. This is a reptile rescue truck. I mean, it looks cool. It has like a snake or reptile skin uh, paint job on it. This is a very fantasy casting. Like it has a plastic body, um, plastic windows, obviously, and then a metal chassis. Usually these type of cars do decent on the track. This one, I don't know though, because it's so light. It doesn't, it hardly has any weight to it, um, but I like it. I don't mind the paint job looks cool this one to me it's like eh it's it's okay rolls decent though this one the rogue hog this is sick like this is one of the reasons i bought this one love these blade style wheels especially on fantasy castings that are supposed to look fast so this is a i think it's a fantasy police car if i remember right i think this is supposed to be a light bar uh, but maybe not because there is a police car in there so i don't know i don't think there's two but 
Um, let me know in the comments if you remember this being a police car ever, because I think I do. But look at that paint job. That, like, shark mouth or shark nose paint job. And it's got, like, the, um, oh, no, it's actually, it's a wild boar, which makes sense because it's Rogue Hog. But, like, look at that. It's like a wild boar with the snout and the teeth going up. That is so cool. Very killer. I love this casting. It's got that really heavy bear Zamac chassis, which looks awesome. There you can see the interior detail. It's orange. It's got that, like, I guess, like, turbo fan engine back here. It's got I, the exhaust up here, but this, I don't think that's a spare tire. That looks like a turbo fan of some sort. But this casting, this release is really cool. I love that wild boar paint job. Absolutely killer. One of my favorite ones of this unboxing video so far. So, okay, next up, Fang Sir. This has been around for, I mean, it says 2015, but I think this casting has been around in some sort since the 90s, uh, at least, if not the late 80s. But that paint job looks very cool. I wouldn't be surprised if this one gl like glowed, but I don't think it does. Um, but the paint job almost looks like black light, like you could put it in a black light. Um, this is like a lizard. Uh, you can see there the whole tail. Uh, it's got a yellow engine. Again, very fantasy casting. If you're not into these, you definitely won't like these. Uh, that metal chassis. This is probably decent on the track, though. It has a little bit of weight to it. And I feel like just the track and the width, how much metal is in front of the axles would pull this down the track. So if you try these on the track, let me know. Because I think that one might do decent. Not a super good looking car, but um, not, not bad. So here we have the, what is this one called? alpha pursuit that's right so this is the police car obviously um this looks really good uh, uh i bought this when it first came out a few years ago uh it's come in a couple paint schemes i think it even came in a batman like in a gotham city one or something like that a while ago but the cool thing about this one is that the light bar there is a piece of it that's like sticking up from the interior but because the glass is blue it looks like a blue and red like light bar right there like that is really nicely detailed and i like the honeycomb glass really cool it's got the red interior which makes the red pieces of the light bar the push bar in the hood vents um i like the white lined wheels or tires it's got a little got a little hiccup right there but the police it looks great 911 hot wheels the color is awesome this is a good release um even if you don't like fantasy castings like this is a metal body plastic chassis car and it looks good i mean that looks awesome i love that like blue and yellow or blue and yellow blue and red light bar they did to that that just looks great it really does man that's killer shout out to hot wheels for that okay lastly out of all the cars all 20 the bread box and it is a taco truck this time love tacos i will buy any type of taco truck uh matchbox has like a match uh like a matchbox taco food truck that i bought before really like this Look at all the peppers, the tacos, the taco truck, like the old school, like Taco Bell Sun style logo on it. Look at that huge. You can see all that detail. See that engine in there? There's actually no food in there, but it's got the nice engine. But it looks, because it looks yellow. I mean, it's molded in yellow, but it also looks like lime-ish because the light is coming through the roof. But very cool. I like this one. This is a nice casting that gives them a lot of room to do stuff with tampos on the side. Uh, it's got those yellow aero disc wheels, just a really good looking casting. Like there's a service window right there on the side with the little overhang. It just looks good. It does. I know it's fantasy, but it looks real. Like if you saw that at like Good Guys or a Hot Rod Show or something like that at your local Cars and Coffee, I'd be like, I'm buying tacos from that guy. That thing looks sick. Or if at least if it doesn't have real tacos inside, it's just an engine. I'm taking a ton of pictures of it because it's so cool. Very nice. All right, let's do a little roll test. Oh, so cool. I love that. Excellent, excellent paint job. So now that we've opened, what, 24-ish cars? Because you had 20 in there, and then we have two trucks and two uh, two cars with the truck. So let me know which five-pack was your favorite, which car was your favorite, which super rig was your favorite. I think out of everything, um, I'm probably going to lean towards some of the license stuff. Like, I really like the Chevy. I like these two. I really like this. This looks so good to me. Um, and I'm definitely like the Rogue Hog. This is probably one of my favorites in the whole thing and the bread box. Like, oh, oh, I would say those. Oh, yeah, I can't forget this one. I might as well just throw them all in. They're all great. This, the paint jobs, 
the, the variation, like the variety of castings, just a lot of good cars in here. So let me know which one's your favorite. I really appreciate you sticking with me through this one. This was a long one, but we opened almost 25 cars, which is pretty cool and looked at them each. So um, let me know in the comments if you collect five packs, if you want me to keep doing these, because I can do five packs all day long. I love these things. Um, let me know which cars was your were your favorite, which five pack was your favorite overall. Um, again, Merry Christmas. Really appreciate you watching and spending your day with me. I hope you have a great rest of the day and a good new year. I'll have a lot of new stuff coming even between Christmas and New Year and a lot of new stuff coming in 2024. So I really appreciate you watching. This is Sam, 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe as always, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.